Hello. Um, got a couple things I want to talk about, and I'll probably do it in two different videos just so they have enough time. Um, the first thing is I ended up deleting the original video <laughs> because for whatever reason there was no sound. But hopefully it's working now. <laughs> um, on August 9th, I had a test called a fine needle aspiration done and basically what that was is like a thyroid biopsy. Um, I went to a doctor's appointment and they felt my thyroid and they felt some nodules on it. Um, this was um, maybe three years ago um, and there was some concern so I had an ultrasound and they measured the size of the nodules and decided that they wanted to check just to make sure there wasn't anything going on. Um, that's the first time I had one done. And they did the left side. You can still see kind of a bruise there. If I move my head the right way, yeah, there, you can see the bruise. Um, that's the first time I had a, a fine needle done. And all the results came back negative, everything's fine. So we maintained by doing uh, ultrasounds like every six months to monitor the nodules. And this last set of ultrasounds from June? Yeah, June. The days all run together. Um, the last ultrasound in June, they were concerned because there was growth of the nodules on both sides. So they decided they wanted to do another fine needle and uh, make sure there's nothing going on. So basically what happens when you have this test done is you go in and they have you lay back on a table with your head tilted back as far as you can. They put like a pillow under your neck so you can bend it farther. And then they numb you up with a local anesthetic. I'm not sure which one they use this time, but they, they numb it up pretty good. Um, and then they proceed to stick needles in your neck and take samples. Um, they use like syringes. And then on, let's see, they took 10 samples all together. On the left side, they took six. And they found a cyst. So they took you know, a couple extras on that side because of that. Some of the cyst wall and some of the fluid inside it. Don't know if that's a problem or not. Fingers crossed that it's not. Um, then they did the right side. And on the right side, where the, due to the location of the nodule, they had trouble getting to it. So hopefully they got what they needed. He was having some trouble getting an actual sample of the tissue that he needed. So now we're in the waiting process. I should find out on Monday the 27th. I have an appointment. So I should find out then what the test results are. Not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, it's hard when you don't know when it could possibly be something else. So, fingers crossed that it's not cancerous, that it's just, you know, normal everyday bumps. Because <laughs> basically that's what it is. It's a little bump on the thyroid and it's just big enough that they, they're concerned that, you know, it went from like a 1.5 to a 1.8 or something. I, I don't know the exact numbers, but whatever it was, it was enough of an increase within a six month period of time that they were concerned. And as you can see, I still have a little bit of bruising. It's weird looking the thing and having it be opposite. Um, the, the bruise is actually pretty well healed. It was a really big, black, really dark, nasty looking thing. But now that it's been a week and a half or so since I've had it done, you know, it's a little better. Um, but yeah, that's where we are right now. We are waiting. <laughs> and it's nerve-wracking. I would assume if there was a problem that they 
the doctor's office would call and try to move up my appointment, but since I haven't heard anything, I'm hoping that means it's good news. Um, I don't know what else to talk about, but it, it's, it's, overall the test isn't that bad. It's scary because they're sticking needles in your neck. Um, the first time I had it done, whatever they used to numb me up worked really well because I didn't feel anything. I barely bruised. This time, same doctor, it didn't numb up as quite as well. Um... So I don't know if it's a buildup from using that anesthetic before, but it's been a couple years, so I would have thought that that wouldn't make a difference. Um, I don't know. Maybe my weight's changed and that caused a difference, although I'm pretty close to what I was then. Um, there's any number of reasons why. It could just be the location of where the needle went in. But they guide the needles with an ultrasound. So I've got an ultrasound tech with the little, um, what's that thing called? A transducer? I think that's the right word. With the, with the little thingy, you know, on my neck. And then they find the nodule they want to sample of. And then they guide the needle in that way. He holds the syringe with this contraption that looks like a medieval torture device. And he explained to me that you know, it's just to hold the thing, give them a little more control, and it's terrifying to look at. So try not to. Um, I spent most of the time with my eyes closed just so I wouldn't see it. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of needles as it is. So, yeah, somebody who's needle phobic, getting you know minimum of ten needles stuck in their neck, and plus the numbing agent. And he's like, you'll feel a stick in it and maybe a burn. And I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> right. I didn't feel any burning, but I felt the sticking. Um, but on the right side, when he was going, I don't know if it was the second or the third needle he was doing, I felt every bit of it and it hurt. And I'm like, yeah, that one hurt. So he numbed me up again. I waited a a moment and then did the last one or two that he needed but they were pressing down like on on the clavicle a little bit you know where it comes where it comes in like here they were pressing on that bone and that's part of what was hurting um but trying to get to the the nodule that they wanted um I keep saying um that's really annoying I hate it when people do that and here I am doing it sorry uh, it's just one of those irritating things you're taught in speech class don't say um don't say um and here I am um 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 anyway I digress <laughs> um, um there it is again I forgot what I was talking about oh yeah uh, Pressing on that bone, if you press on it hard enough, it, it hurts. And I found that after the, the test, for two or three days, I had a sore throat. And I'm going to guess it had something to do with the anesthetic. I don't know. Uh, I didn't have it the first time around. And then, of course, you know, the bruising. The whole side, the whole left side of my neck was sore right up to the jawbone so that like from from here down it, it really hurt and uh, it took a couple days for that that soreness to go away um, every so often I'd have a cold water bottle I just lay it against my neck to make it feel better it was really hard to sleep because I usually sleep on my left side and when you can't do that <laughs> because it hurts um, yeah I didn't sleep very well for those couple days and of course you can't catch up on sleep once it's gone it's gone so hopefully 